What's up everybody? You got the car man and you know I'm going to do a video for a uh, viewer today. They were actually asking about um how to get tree sap out of a car and you know I'm trying to give you a good you can see that it's kind of aged in there and it's been there a hot minute. Now I'm going to do this one-handed but basically it's pretty simple. Uh her name's Sarah. All you really need, you could probably use a hair dryer. I'm going to use a heat gun, but basically I'm just going to heat it up and just agitate it back out. And then um, usually if you do that, it won't leave a mark. If it's been there a really, really long time, it may leave a stain behind. In that case, if you're really that anal about it, you're going to have to color sand it back out, polish it, sand it, polish it, sand it, polish it. Start with a really light grit. But let's just hope that's not the case here, and I can just kind of show you real easy what we're actually dealing with all right so with one hand things i do to entertain you people god all right here we go i'm about to back up here as you see i'm just gonna heat it up that's it See what that does, and I'm gonna take a little rag. Nope, not hot enough yet. I try not to make it too hot, but you can start singing you a song or doing a YouTube video if you're bored. I'd say go do a YouTube video. Trying to take a look at her. Kind of heating her up a little bit. Kind of want to break it down, break it down, break it down. This is tree sap, I hope. And there it is. She's starting to come out. There we go. Okay, you see him starting to rub her out? That was funny. He said to rub her out. Okay, so I got a little bit of it going. I'm trying not to get it to bubble. I just want it warm enough to work with. And now, if you can actually see, now it looks a little bit more on the wet side. I'm just gonna work it out. I hate cars that have like 300 of these spots. This one's got like at least six on the hood. So I'm gonna be doing this for a hot minute. Okay, with that nice and warm. All right. I'm not going too hot, guys. You can go really hot where it just completely liquefies. But I don't because I don't really want to burn the stain in. I just want to warm it up enough to where I can work with it. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, man. Come on, guy. You're just cool. It smells like a pine tree right now. Did I tell y'all I had some ether blow up in my face yesterday? It was awesome. I don't have any eyebrows right now. It's getting closer. Getting closer. All right. As you see, we are getting closer. You see a little bit of this residue over here. I'll get that off real. That comes off real easy. It's not really bonded. I'm gonna keep heating that stuff up. We want to get it all out. We'll take the stain. We just don't want any material left behind. Right, guys? It's gonna be kind of fast. The faster the better. Ooh, that sucker's hot. Alright, hang on. Let me get repositioned real quick. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a little bit of acetone with one hand here. God help me. 
Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can still see the residue. Right there's where it's at. It's gone now, buddy. Y'all that got took care of everything. Once that stuff heats up, that acetone, boy, that shit will take it out. Y'all want to see another one just for the fun of it, just because I am the car man, baby? All right, hang on. Okay, guys, here's another one. This is a little bit different. This one right here just kind of gooped on there, kind of made the shape. I can hit it with my finger. I'm not able to really... feels kind of like concrete, really hardened gum, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, all right, once again, a little different version. Try to get this all on video. It does take it a second to warm up, as you'll see. The reason I use a heat gun because it would take actually longer with a hair dryer and you know I'm just okay I don't even know if you can see this or not but basically now it kind of looks like molten see it right here it's like liquid now Okay, but we still see we have that stain, right? In the background, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm uh, putting some acetone on my little raggy here. I want you just to watch this. Okay, you be watching. Just like that. It's gone, guys. It is gone, gone, gone. Got yeah, one I'll do. Here's one's a little different. See, I've got so many to do here, guys, that I just wanted to give you a complete lesson on this. All right, here's another one right here. You can go ahead and get to another video if you want. I know this is kind of boring. I'm going to liquefy it. Now you can't really see this in the camera, but she is liquid right there. That's a smaller one. See that nasty little smudge it left everywhere? All right. It does smell like a fresh pine tree in here again. So I got a feeling this was a pine tree we're dealing with. Hold on. I don't need my acetone to spill everywhere. Dang it. Hold on, just stay with me guys. Getting enough acetone on this bad boy to do something. Can't afford to spill it. Okay, here we go. Acetone. There's the white. Just like that, fellas and ladies and gentlemen. Got any more? Yeah, you see it's all over this car. Here's another one. All right, here's an old stain. Let's see what happens with the old stain. Because somebody obviously got this out. I'm going to take a second to heat her back up. I know y'all are like, oh my god, the stain is gone. And I'm like, yeah. Subscribe. Watch my channel. Be entertained. Okay, here we go. So that's a stain we just found that has survived somehow from somewhere. I'm putting some acetone on my rag. Alright. Here we are.
So that's how I'm removing stain. I didn't go in quite deep enough. Um, yeah, I don't see it anymore. Come back over here. Looks like we got another one here. Anyway, this car's got them all over the place. I'm going to be taking stains out of this car for the next two hours. But whatever I can do to torture my fans is exactly what I do. So, hope I delivered. See all my little stains everywhere? This thing must have been just sitting right underneath a stupid pine tree. Look, they're all over the front, too. Oh, my God. Anyway, it does not look good on my little Celine Mustang. Looks like it has a case of the herp. Looks like my Mustang caught an STD. For God's sakes, get this thing a shot! Meanwhile, peace out from the car, man. Nothing but love. Hope you subscribe. Hope you support your military. And for God's sakes, go to work and do something. For God's sakes, get off this YouTube. See you later. Peace out. I will be back tearing some more shit up soon. Later.